sponsored by MedCenter Health. And out at the ballpark, the tarp is officially out as those passing rain showers are making their way through Bowling Green. And as they have been really all day, the hot rods had to dodge a couple passing showers throughout the duration of the game. But those rain showers are on their way out of the area eventually here. Sun returns for tomorrow. We will still have some scattered showers, though, on and off throughout the day. We are warming back up. We're not going to be stuck in the 60s like we were today. Well, we will make our way up into the 80s, but we do enter into a more rainy and a much stormier pattern as we get into the new week. Temperatures right now are at 67 degrees. That wind out of the south southeast at about six miles an hour. That dew point, look at that 63. That tells you it's really humid out there and it, you can definitely feel it in the air. It's got a bit of, of that sticky feeling. Temperatures across the region right now. We're in the sitting in the middle 60s for most again, really muggy though, and that's because we still have some of those rain showers as they pushing through the area. They're not going to be rather light overall. We're not looking at anything overly heavy, but we could have maybe a few sporadic pockets of heavy rainfall overnight. But for the most part, I think we'll have rather light rainfall overnight that continues to push out. And for tomorrow, we do start off with clouds and a few isolated showers, and those showers will be isolated throughout the day. Not a total washout, but I think our eastern counties have a greater threat of seeing that rainfall as we head into Monday. Monday. Monday morning, we could actually see a bit of dense fog in the area, mostly areas to the east. Not it will quickly mix out though, and Monday conditions are looking rather sunny for the most part. And this is for evening. We do have that sun in full force there for our Monday drive home. Again, showing you that future max here for the fog. Again, areas to the east could have some areas of patchy dense fog at times, so you want to make sure you reduce your speed. Use those low beam headlights if you do have to head out for Monday morning. But again, it will mix out rather quickly by about lunchtime. As we look at rainfall, this is for tomorrow. You notice how uh, spotty it is. That's because of those isolated showers. Not a ton of rainfall overall, but still some will certainly be around in the area. So if you get stuck in a passing shower, you might need an umbrella or just hang out in the car until it passes. Looking at the muggy meter, notice we start to really climb up here with our dew points, getting into that muggy, muggy almost gross feeling outdoors. Not something you necessarily uh, most enjoyable outside, but for the most part, though, that's part of summer. Overall, though, in the next six to 10 days, we are looking at some below normal temperatures. Keep in mind, normal temps for this time of year are in about the lower to mid 80s. So we could be looking at temperatures in the 70s, not like a cold outbreak by any means, but precipitation. This is good news for us. A little bit drier than normal over the next six to 10 days. We've just had so much rainfall and we really do not need any more of it. As we look ahead for tomorrow, we have those precipitation chances kind of on and off throughout the whole day, warming up to near 82 degrees, partly sunny of the winds out of the southwest, five to 10 miles an hour. As we look at the next seven days, we do return back up into the upper 80s for Monday, mostly sunny, a few isolated chances for showers, and then those storm chances climb back up for Tuesday and Wednesday. Again, temperatures in the middle 80s, by Thursday, we start to have that sunshine return. An isolated shower, though, cannot be ruled out. Gorgeous day in store for Friday, and then the chances do return for storms on Saturday. An excellent way to stay up to date with the latest forecast is the WBKO First Alert 